Welcome to the sixth part of the MVMet Getting Started tutorial series. In this part, we will go through our simulation settings in the MV Guide. We will also create a forcing file and start the simulation. We first start with the MV Guide, which you can start from the MVMet headquarter. In the MV Guide, you create the SimX file, which contains the settings for your simulation. On the left hand side, you can see different sections where you can adjust a number of parameters. Under General Settings, you can define the simulation date and time. You can also set the simulation name, define file names and choose a folder for your model output. If you don't choose a folder, the output data will be written next to the SimX file. Under Model Area, you import the Model Area file with the ending.inx that we have created in the previous video. You can also choose if you want to use multiple CPU cores for your simulation. In the Meteorology section, you can set the climatic boundary conditions. You can choose between two types of forcing, a simple forcing and a full forcing. A simple forcing is recommended when you only have information about air temperature and humidity. When you choose a simple forcing, you can set the temperature and humidity curves over 24 hours. You can also edit parameters for the boundary conditions of wind and radiation. If you have data for example from weather stations or have access to common weather files, we recommend using a full forcing. This is what we will do in our example. However, we can see that we have no forcing file available. Consequently, we will have to create one. For that, we will need to open the forcing manager. In the forcing manager, you can import CSV files or common weather files in the EPW and TRY format. In our example, we import an EPW file. For that, just go to the data tab and click import from EPW. You can now look for a suiting day for your simulation. This day then has to be set in the general settings in the NV guide. We can now save our forcing file to our project folder and go back to the NV guide. In the full forcing section, we can now see our forcing file that we are going to select for our simulation. Beneath that, we can now choose which aspects of the forcing file we want to be forced. Our meteorology is now set and we could start our simulation at this point. However, in the optional section, you have the additional opportunity to apply settings for numerous aspects like the soil, buildings, plants, radiation and so on. As always, don't forget to save your file. As we are done creating our SimX file, we can now start our simulation. For that, we need to open the MV Core in the NVMet headquarter. There we have to select our project and our SimX file. After both have been loaded successfully, we can either check the simulation or start it directly. That's it for the sixth part, and in the final video of this series, we will explain how to analyze our data with Leonardo. Thank you for watching, and if you like, you can visit our website or check out our other tutorials here on YouTube.